Hello everyone, welcome to the itvideos.com. In this video, we are going to talk about how we can remotely debug our applications that are deployed in Azure Cloud. So I have, I've got this web API in .NET Core 5. And what I have is, this is a simple controller. It has got only one controller at the moment. And this is just a, a plain simple controller which I have published to my um, to Azure at the moment. So that's the URL. So this application has been published to Azure. And this is part of this resource group. As you can see, RJ uh, or RG dash the IT videos. So that's the name of the resource group. So this has been published to uh, Azure. Uh, so if I go over to the Azure portal uh, in my resource group section, so there's that resource group. I click on that and there is that web api code that we are looking at in our visual studio so if i open this one up and that is the information about my app and if i click on this url it's going to open up of course there is no no endpoint the root and i would need to call this controller of course so for me to call this controller this is the weather forecast controller right so I can always copy the controller name which is this one go back and weather forecast and we get the data back so this API is all working fine so let me do one thing let me go back to my Visual Studio and these are all the uh, all the actions. What I'm going to do is just simply add one action inside of this, and I've got that in my clipboard. I'm just going to paste that in here. And all it does is just a simple hello world controller, and all it does is just returns the hello world string back to the API, uh, back to the browser that is. So, and this is the HTTP GET, and the route name is hello. So the way we are going to call it is the controller name slash hello that's the route of this action so let me save this one and go back to my publish or, or my uh, ASP.NET co solution I can either come back and click on the publish or I can always right click and right click the project and click on the publish and I get this dialog so now I can click on the publish and it's now going to publish the application with the changes that we have made in Azure. So it's going to take a while to publish the solution that we have in our Visual Studio. And we're getting the log here in the output as to what it is doing. So Visual Studio in Azure has made things quite simple for us. So we don't have to even own the resources. So, all right, looks like the moment I hit the publish button, it opens up that URL that is in Azure. So if I go back to my Visual Studio, it, does, it is telling me that the publish was succeeded. It's all good. And now with our new publish, it should have this action as well. So I should be able to call this newly added action that I just added. So if I go back to my Chrome browser, uh, if I just type weather forecast we get that old information now inside of this weather forecast we have got this hello endpoint so when i call this it should return me a hello world string so let's do that if i just call hello and hit enter on my keyboard that's returning the hello world string now we have seen this all working it's time to hit a breakpoint and see if we can uh, step in to the code so how do we do that uh, the way we can do that is by going over to the cloud explorer right and this is showing me the application that i have in azure so to show you so that's my api core that's deployed to azure all i would need to do is just right click just right click your application and say attach debugger 
is going to do all the heavy lifting for us is going to attach the process that is uh, connect to the remote and hook this one up so that when we run the application remotely we should be able to hit a breakpoint and step into our code so it's now loading that url it may take a while to load it and looks like it is still doing its thing so if i open both the browsers side by side so that you can see what's happening looks like it is doing its thing all right so looks like it has attached the debugger remotely now as you can see i've got the watch window showing up i've got the locals window showing up i've got the watch window showing up so it looks like it is essentially made the environment ready for me to debug so let me now so that breakpoint is in here so now if i just go back and call this controller and this hello action and let's see what happens i'm going to do the same thing controller forward slash hello action and hit enter and looks like it is doing something it has brought the focus or the control to this visual studio if i go back looks like it's still trying to do something behind the scene because it hasn't loaded just yet because looks like it's about to hit the breakpoint anytime soon it's still trying to communicate so it may take a while and looks like our debugger has been hit so and i'm getting all the information that i have so if i go back to my visual studio and this one is still loading because i have hit the breakpoint in my visual studio so if i uh, unpin this to get a bit more real estate and that is our breakpoint right there so i can step through the code i can say f10 go to the next line which is this one and the value of this variable is, is hello world so now if i run it full speed and we get that value back in here so that's how we can you know step through or step into our code remotely so this as you can see this is not running in my local and i was able to you know hit the breakpoint and so we have seen how easy it was by simply clicking on the attached to debugger in the cloud explorer and we were able to do just that now in certain situations where you are not able to attach to the remote debugger make sure that the configuration that you have so if i go back uh, the configuration that you have is set to debug so for example if i click on show all settings let me stop the debugging and if i click on show all settings in the publish tab make sure the configuration when you're deploying it is set to debug and and not re not release because the debug is going to copy all the necessary files that are required for debugging so let's say if you you know hit a snag you can make sure that this option is set to debug so that was a short quick video i thought of sharing this with you because debugging things can come quite handy so few things work in your local environment and few things when they're deployed to the azure environment or deployed to production they just do not work so let me know what methods you use to debug your application if you like this video do let me know in your comments down below i do read the comments and i appreciate your feedback and thank you for your support and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching and just before you go if this video has helped you in any way shape or form give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button